Hello everybody, my name is Panda, and today I'm bringing you part 13 of our Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak playthrough. Uh, where we left off last time, we got a bunch of small monster quests done. We got a couple of large monster quests done for the Gather Hub Rank 2. Um, they gave us an urgent quest of a rampage, which we're going to start off with. As you can see, I also got some new armor. I wanted to try out a new skill set that kind of complements the charge axe or the uh, <laughs> charge blade. Forgive me. I keep doing it. I'll keep doing it my entire life, I think. There's no winning this one. Um, but yeah, so stat wise, I'm a little bit higher in terms of the defense because this has a higher maximum than the other gear that I was wearing. Plus, I got the defense on the shield and the gloves have better defense than the other gloves that I had. However, the reason why I took it is now we have power pro longer, which will keep my blade charge longer. Guard, which gives us a less of a stamina decrease every time we do guard, which I have a shield, so it makes sense. Quick sheath, making it easier to put it back on when I have it off. Part breaker, of course, we've had, and then speed sharpening. Uh, so eventually I will get this armor maxed out and we'll have a higher defense, but that is not today. I'm pretty sure I participated in this sale. Why am I talking to you? I did. So we are going to start right off with the Rampage. That is what we're going to do. Um, I also created a new Dongo set. Uh, this is really just kind of the power up buddies. Less or more or words are hard. I don't recommend them. Uh, I created this set more so to make it easier to level up my buddies and ride. Uh, obviously, I have the daily special in there that changes. Um, so that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> Let me drop off everything that I'm not using. And off we go. I've gotten a little bit better at rampages uh, as I've been playing a few of them off screen. Like it is... I. I'm growing to enjoy them now that I understand them a little Let's bit more. I am confident that we will be able to do this relatively easy. I am not confident, however, that I will get a decent rank. So one thing I've learned about this is all of the tower busters come this way. So I have started removing this bamboo because it, it really serves no purpose. Uh, at this time. And then I'll place it here. That way it's actually a little bit more valuable to me. Obviously, I can't really place anything else, but this barista is barista. Ballista? Why did I say barista? I must have coffee on the mind. This ballista is in the perfect place for me, so we're just going to rip right into it. Waiting for him to attack. He's being real picky. Focusing on the gate crasher because obviously that's a huge threat. my my mag here get a full reload got both Craig shots and a retreat shot and I'm feeling pretty good about that a lot of busters in this round that making me nervous
I should have repelled. I don't know why that didn't. everything I'm throwing at him. That's probably going to mean that's going down. Yep. I wholeheartedly disagree with that. We got to move. They're not going to worry too much about the gate. It's these big guys that I need to concern myself with. face. Alright. So far so good. Now we're going to change things up a little bit. What I would like to do is I'm going to leave that bomb there because I think it will blow up so long as they run through the middle. My concern is that it won't though. So I'm actually going to move this. I lied. I apologize. They're getting real, real, real close to... The Pop in the second gate. So what I can do drop the bomb here. And then All set. I'm gonna use both of my Wyvern fire artillery to protect this location because everything's gonna get funneled into here anyway. However, most of them come up this side, so I think having this one aimed here and then the other one aimed in the center, that will be a good combination. Now, the other thing I want to do is get some of these cannons down, and I'll have one facing both directions. That way, if anything manages to sneak by, which it will, uh, we're a little bit more prepared. Lastly... I would put down some dragon collar bait, and I might actually still do that to keep everybody focused here for a little bit. All set. And if we get anything big, I can at least use the dragonator to just destroy the living heck out of it. I.e., I believe the Rathian is the big bad for this one. Um, I'm counting on you. I think I got everything that's automated down. I don't think there's anything else really that I can push. I could potentially put Fug in here, but I'm concerned that in doing so, I'm ultimately going to waste him. Yeah, everything else is down. We'll hold on to Fug in. Best case scenario, I'll end up using him later. Worst case scenario, we don't end up using him at all. But I think we're prepared for the second wave. This should be the last one.
He's gonna sit there for a second. I better take advantage of this. Did I pick up any? No. Did now. Go ahead and throw this down for the next buster to come ripping through. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Where is he? Not yet. God, he got lucky. Everything's down. Ah, he's going to break that second gate. I don't think there's a lot that I can do about that. now. Why is my cannon not doing anything against him? Focus on the yeah, yep, yep, nope, I know. Alright, I gotta move. You didn't even fire, we're moving you. We should get the counterattack signal, though. Please. Rathian, where are you going? Alright, this is what I was talking about. Let's see if we can't get Rathian over here. Where's my Dragonetta? Right. That should be good. Oh, relax. We are absolutely fine.
Well, we were fine up until the Pookie robbed me. Come on, let me remove the installation, put down the new installation. I felt like that was uh, very clear on what I was trying to do there. Boogan, I don't feel like you should have targeted. I thought everybody was down. That sucks. What a waste. What a waste. But it's fine. We're already at the end of it. All right, we got counter signal and Rathian's down. Let's go ahead and get over there and do some mucking up. You did great. All's well that ends well. Now I'm curious to see what rank I got. I would assume an A. A lot of those ones I just really didn't have the tools necessary to do. And I wasn't getting really lucky with the drops on the explosive type barrel bombs. But the gate stayed intact. No real sign of struggle. Well, I mean, I struggled. The village didn't. I think we did pretty good. And another Rampage down. Oh, we got an S. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Anything good? Defender ticket twos. That's what I wanted. I don't need them yet, but I am going to need them. So having them on hand is better than not. Especially when we get the Magna Malo weapon, which I'll probably use for a while. I just don't know what I want to ramp it up with. I don't want to do the blast per se. I kind of want to do the attack. But then again, you know, it's just like you can't win for losing. Alrighty, um, I've been waiting for you. Hello. We still have a few, or a couple of these to do before we unlock the next rank. So we'll just go start from the bottom, going up. We will fight a Volvedon, which what we need, as I have seen one, but I have not taken the photo and or fought it. So this will be good. Money maker and trainer. And is there anybody around the village who wants to talk to me? Of course. From my paw to your pocket. Ooh, buddy ticket. I'll take it. Hell yeah, I'll take it. What are we working with? Shock traps? Hell yeah, we'll take those. So Volvodon's fun. I enjoy this fight. I'm not looking forward to it because... I always get knocked around a bit, but I'm hoping this time around that won't be the case. But as a gather hub quest, I have to get my Burbage on. So if you do me a favor and just sit right there, I will be right back. Alrighty, I think we're ready. I went ahead and I picked up a couple of hunter helpers. As usual, mud beetle, fire beetle, a pair toad, and we picked up the poison toad. I'm gonna go ahead and start it off with the mud beetle though. And here we go. Well, I guess I was the one that was in for a shock.
You dirty cast it on. You dirty cast it on. God. Always in the way, these guys. Always in the damn way. Alright, I need to get out of here. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Kestodon, Jesus Christ! Why can't you be like other normal small monsters and just get the hell out of the way when a big monster's around? My lord! Big old knuckleheads? Go ahead and try this again. I think we'll go ahead and start with the Paratoad this time. See if I can't break those hips. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and get a photo too. Well, I'm thinking about it. Got way a little too greedy there. That was unfortunate. He's really going for those late hits. <laughs> I just want to sharpen my weapon, man. That was good delivery. Good predictability on his point. Or bad predictability on my point. Well, at least it's up now. Okay, don't know what happened there, but let's take advantage. Little to the left. Just a little to the left. Damn. Get 
I swear, all the small monsters today just really, 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 <laughs> really getting on my nerves, man. They're like, oh, hello, are you busy? I'm like, a little bit, yeah. Trying to fight a Volvodon, they're like, oh, can we join? All right, Volvodon, I'm back. You need to get out of the desert. That's part of my problem. I just got here, though. What do you mean it's fleeing? No. Man? Needs fixing. Well, I guess we better sharpen again. <laughs> Wait, is he going in the middle or is he going under? No, where the hell is he going? It looks like he's going in the middle. It's a hell of a flea. A hell of a flea. Yeah, there he is. What a goof. What a goof. What a goof. Where are you going? What are you getting into, mister? You didn't want to break the big rock? Oh. Okay. We'll do a bit of a monster tussle. I'm on board. Kulu, you picked the wrong fight. Man, that took a minute. Couldn't couldn't get a beat on him. Well, that that was unfortunate. trouble I need to need to not panic where's my deodorant I don't have any deodorant on me why do I not have any deodorant on me I'm gonna I'm gonna get the deads here real quick oh oh no oh no would one of you two smack me please don't just stand there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, the pure panic. 
Oh, you cheeky devil. I have no idea where my deodorant went. I thought I had that in my loadout. Frick. have mercy that was scary okay we're gonna run over here Kulu 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 Bulbadon Bulbadon the hell the fourth one or the third one go weird I may have accidentally picked it up already I would expect it another one though it is okay What the hell is a rickrack? I'm back. Nope, I don't have deodorant on there. Well, that's <laughs> that was scary. That was real scary. I thought for sure I was going the way of the dodo. I thought for sure. This is why you always keep deodorant on your hot bar. I've been waiting for you. Of course, now that I'm not fighting a Bulbadon, I don't necessarily need it. I'm not going to put it on my hotbar, but that's just me. <laughs> don't be like me. I already managed my loadout before we left. Perfect. Now i got to fight another Kezu. Oh, speaking of which, if you remember the first time that we fought the Kezu, I had asked, why is there no music playing? Well, I took the liberty of looking that up. Turns out, the music only plays if the monster looks at you. And since the Kezu has no eyes, it can't look at you. Fun fact, and a great attention to detail. Though mildly annoying because I enjoy the monster music, but it's still pretty neat. However, I have to get my birds. So if you want to hang out for a second, I will be right back. All right, everybody, I think we're about as ready as we're going to be. I can't seem to find that last burb that I need, but that's okay. We're pretty much maxed out. Um, I have both of my lantern bugs. I have my fire beetle and my thunder beetle. Uh, as Kezu is primarily a thunder-type monster, I'm not going to start with that. I'm actually going to start with the fire beetle and soften him up a bit. I saw that coming. Perfect. Exactly what I needed.
<laughs> Guess Kezu learned. He's just like, oh, I know how to dodge the slam. What? Okay, that one I would. I. Ow. Oh, help. We're in trouble, boy. Why didn't that work? Okay. Because the shield is conductive to electricity, therefore you can't block electricity. You can simply just, you know, pass it through you, I guess. I really got to get my shit together with this Kezu fight. Still got our Thunderbug, so I am going to go ahead and use that when I get down to where he's about to land. Oh, Kasu. I've come for you. Jump, aim, fire! Ow, get out of that! Nope, couldn't get out of that. That was a good use of a Thunder Beetle, though. I think, I think, I think. Not a good use of a tail slide. Uh oh, he's on the roof. He's on the roof. the roof, you butthead. Oh, I forgot to sharpen. Oh, hell. Well, while he's distracted, let's go ahead and take advantage of this moment. Not the best use of the charge attack. I really, I was being really, uh, <laughs> really aggressive. 
Is it hurt? No. Damn it, Kezu, hold still. Zone five, that's a that's a run. Let's actually sharpen why I'm thinking about it, versus, you know, not sharpen and then hit the orange while we're fighting Kezu. That's yeah, let's not do that again. Do 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 do. Well, it's saying that he's coming down here, so I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to run up there to have him trample me to <laughs> get down here. It's usually my experience with it anyway when a monster goes up there, but shows that they're coming down into the water. Ooh! Yeah, there's that trample I was telling you about. What the hell just happened? No, get up! Well, hell! Apparently all my skill went out the window today. Not that I had any to begin with, but... <laughs> oh, Kazu, you cheating bastard. Oh no, I'm paralyzed. Help. Oh. I don't I don't know what that was. I'm going to go with it though. What am I doing with traps? Nope, I wanted health. But let's get in on this real quick. Out, 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 out. See this way you can't be greedy. You just can't be greedy with Kazu. <laughs> oh, this yelling's got to stop, buddy. Kazu, you're killing me with the yelling. Get out of that. Yahoo! 
Oh, Lord. I did not mean to jump right back into him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Woo! Woo! No! 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude. Ugh. No way that just fucking happened. No way. No way. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, Kazu, you jerk. Where are you? You're leaving is where you're going. Okay. Man, I can't believe that happened. I, I should have been paying more attention. I should have been less aggressive. There's so many things I should have been that I wasn't, and I paid the price for it. <laughs> like, oh, uh, Kazu, you bastard. How? Let's do this. How am I getting a rewrite on this? <laughs> huh. I don't know how that happened or why, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm so frustrated with that Kazu faint. <laughs> I'm so upset. Uh No, that's not what I want to do. So frustrated with myself more than anything. I'm just, I should have I should have been able to avoid that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened there. Just not paying attention, focused on something else, I guess. Zoned out, whatever you want to call it. Sneaky devil. Urgent quest, Magnamalo. That's what I thought. But that will be a next time thing. Go ahead and pick up all of this so that I can start putting that into my armor and get more defense. But we still got to fight Baroth, the Royal Ludroth, and the Bisheton before we take on Magna Merler. See you later, then. So that will be our next time. But thank you for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun, minus the faint to Kazoo. But it happens to the best of us. Well, maybe not the best of us, but it happens to me, and it does get the best of me. So, uh, but until next time, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye.